Hi, I'm Kelly with Blue Water Photo, and today I wanted to show you the three snoot options and give you a few bits of information about each one to help you choose the perfect snoot for your macro photography. If you're not familiar, a snoot is basically a light shaping tool that narrows the beam of your strobe from that wide 100 degree beam down to a very, very narrow spotlight. It allows you to isolate your macro subjects, shoot images that'll have beautiful black backgrounds when you're in a spot or your subject is in a spot where that wouldn't otherwise be possible. It also helps you highlight eyes or other small aspects of a photo for some really different creative lighting techniques. We have three different options here at Blue Water, so I'll take you through each real fast and hopefully at the end of the video you'll have a better idea of which one's the perfect one for you. The first one is our ReefNet Fiber Optic Snoot. Pros to this guy is that it's very robust. It doesn't require any batteries, there's no glass or moving parts, so it's, you really can't break it. It works with fiber optics that transmit through the flexible arms to move the light. It comes with a standard tip as well as a narrowing tip, so you have two different light beam options, and the arms are flexible, as I mentioned. So you can buy it with one arm or two arms, and with two arms it's great because it really allows you to perfectly position the beams wherever you want to highlight the two eyes or two different small subjects in your photo, or you can use one beam for that spotlight single subject effect. The cons to this one is that it can be very difficult to position these exactly where you want because there's no spotting light. You can't exactly see where you're, where you're doing it, so it might be a little bit of trial and error. And that's about the only con. It's a great little snoot. It works well. The light transmits very well through, and you've got your two different size tips so that you can have smaller and larger, which is great. The second snoot we option offer is the 10 bar snoot with laser. It's a pretty cool option. It's got a laser on it, so you have a pointing light, if you can see that, that allows you to know exactly where the light beam is gonna hit. The laser's adjustable, so before you dive, you can estimate how far away you'll be from your subject, and then adjust the laser so it hits right where you want it to. That way, when you're down under the water, you get to that same distance, and you know your snoot's gonna hit right where you want it to hit. It's pretty sweet. It also has removable pieces that screw in and out so that you can adjust the size of the beam a little bit, just like the ReefNet snoot. Small downsides is that it is a little annoying to unscrew these guys, and it does run off batteries, which are sold separately. It needs three LR44 batteries. However, the laser doesn't draw much power. They will last a pretty good amount of time, I believe. You also want to be careful, because when you change the batteries, you have an O-ring you have to deal with. So just like your camera, you need to be very careful of no hair or grit, or you could damage this, and then you would have to replace the unit. Inexpensive as well. It's a great snoot to get started with. Just like the ReefNet snoot, it is available, as well as our other snoot, for a variety of different strobes, so it should fit whatever you have. The third snoot, which is kind of the high-end sort of pro model, is the Retra LSD, which is light shaping device. They call it that because it's almost more than a snoot. It doesn't just narrow the beam. It actually uses lenses to focus the light. I really like this snoot. It is a bit bigger and heavier than the other snoots, so that's one of the downsides. It does have a replaceable back, so if you change strobes, you can just replace the rear piece here and use it with your new strobe, which is really nice. To get the snoot effect, you can use it as, as it is, and it creates a smaller beam, but then it also includes these different mask sets, which you just slide right into the snoot, and they click in place, and that allows you to get smaller and smaller holes. Obviously, the mask sets are just blocking the light, but it's the lenses that really focus and give you that nice, clean look overall. All three snoots work really well. We've had a lot of customers that like all the different ones for different reasons, so hopefully some of these tips will help you decide which works best for you. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or check out our website at www.bluewaterphotostore.com, and we hope you have a great time shooting with your new snoot. Thanks so much for watching.